What is going on, everybody? I'm Jay Marvel, and this is Let's Play Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, this is episode 10. Uh, last episode, we got through Sen's Fortress, allowing us to get up here into New Londo, or Anor Londo. Um, I talked to this person already off camera, and I, because I didn't realize I was recording. So, dialogue is uh, exhausted there. Basically, she's a firekeeper, and she can um, upgrade your Estus Flask. Uh, so, we don't want to kill her. We need to come back here because we missed, uh, well we didn't miss, we just went by some things over here. There's a chest over there. So we're going to duke it out with these guys. Oh, fireball man. I'm going to hit you in the ship. Oh, I hit you buddy. My bad. I just want to get some separation between these two guys because two of these guys at once is kind of a joke. It's very difficult. They do give a good chunk of souls when you kill them. 1500 apiece. Oh my gosh. No! Like just out of reach. Cool. Alright, so we'll come over here and pick up this item. I'm waiting for uh, episode 6. To, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I've already killed him. Uh, episode 6 to finish processing the HD version. So I can move that video off of my computer and onto my hard drive. Free up space. So I don't want to get like 30 minutes into this and like the last 15 minutes get cut because I didn't have enough space on my computer. Because I've got quite a few videos on there that I need to move over. So I might take a quick pause if uh, that happens here soon. I right, so there's three more over here. We'll kill him later, so we're not going to go at him, but I want these items. Okay, we need to... We didn't get separation this time. I wonder... How do you like the taste of that? I like me some barbecue sentinels. Oh, see, this is what I mean by two of them. Just when you think you're safe, the second one comes in with an attack. Okay, sacrificed a little HP there for the greater good. Swing and a miss. Okay. Awesome. So, those are two are dead. Hey, hey, hey. I gotta remember which way I want to do that. Alright, so this is a Twinkling t Titanite, which will be cool. Oh, god, I almost did it. So, see the chain? Straight. Give it a whack. And another whack. These guys hit like a... brick, man. They're like a freight train. Oh, god. Okay. Okay, and he drops a crystal halberd. Yeah, that's right. So ha crystal halberd actually has really good stats initially. The problem with them, and you know, it's kind of like a give and take. Um, once they break, they can't be like they can't be repaired. It's like a one. It's almost like a weapon from uh, Breath of the Wild. Like it breaks, it's done. Like there's no repairing it. All right, we'll see how this part goes, considering we've had trouble with it in the past. We're we at 24 deaths. Okay. Okay, get the, get the tail. Yes! A little payback, man. Alright, so we're gonna drop down over here and work our way around the back side of this tower. Yeah, that's clear. Okay. And we've got a Demon Titanite. Alright. So, 25,000 souls. That's pretty good.
This part's gonna be fun. <clears throat> well, especially since it takes two hits to kill these guys. Not about anything. Ooh. But up here we're gonna need our shield. So you come in here and we gotta... Ooh, so <laughs> I, uh, a while back I uh, was playing this, getting back into playing it, and I, I had my original controller that I, I still had my original controller from when I bought the PlayStation. So it was pretty old, I don't remember what, when I bought the PlayStation, but it's been a while. Um, so like every once in a while my left stick would do this like random like as I was walking it would like turn left for like a quick like a hot second but it was just enough like so I got to this part and I kept dying uh, just literally anytime I moved it was just anytime I got on these rafters I would just make this little, like little left hard left turn oh my gosh it scared me my like heart sank I thought I was gonna fall off um, after like dying like I don't know 15 times so I just a controller glitch I got in my car went to the store and bought a controller and came back and was like once you kill them wait till they are you can walk through them don't do like I did Ugh. We're so close. Oh, it's like one of my least favorite parts of Anorlando is that little rafter section. And guess what? You have to do it. So don't forget that once you activate this the first time, it just goes up and down indefinitely. Um, I tend to forget that sometimes and just go walking straight off of it. Makes for a short, short run. And you lose quite a bit of souls. Like if we were to die right now, that'd be so bad because it's twenty-five thousand souls. We're talking. Take a while to make that up, but I tend to like. I swear, like when I drop my biggest souls, like is in in Orlando, and like in uh, not recovering them, like because something always is capable of killing you, killing me here. Like even these bastards. Okay. See, it's just tough because the um, these guys. I wish it took just one hit to kill these guys. Cause there's a lot of movement in swinging this sword. I've noticed. Oh, he has an item. Oh well, it's probably either throwing knives or something like that. So, I ain't too worried. Okay. Shield up. Let's throw a fireball at him. Oh, oh, he dodged it. Oh. Oh. No! My souls are right there. Told you. Yeah, I know I got that too. I hate you, painted guardians. I hate you so much. That's a drink. Alright. Well. Shoot. We don't have any souls now. <clears throat> oh. This playthrough is not going well. That's okay. 
Dark Souls 2 is next, guys, and that one's going to be pretty much blind, and I'm not following any kind of guide or anything like that um, for that one, uh, or checklist or anything. I'm just going to play that one blind. Like, I say I've only played, like, I, I think I said it in one of the other episodes, I only got to, like, the second bonfire in the um, Forest of the Fallen Giants, I think is what the first area that you kind of really go through is called. So, yeah, that, that's going to be a blind playthrough. For the most part. I mean, of course I know, like... But I don't know, like, any of the... Really, any of the weapons, like... Nothing. I just... What... You're seeing it, shown at first. And it's been... Dark Souls 3 is a little different. I got a little further on that one. I think I got past the tree. Just past the tree. No. Abyss Walkers. Abyss Walkers is the last boss... The, 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 the boss I fought. Before I stopped and came back to this. For some reason, I always come back to this one. Uh, Bloodborne. Bloodborne, Bloodborne. How far have I made it in Bloodborne? Not very far. Um, Father Gascoin, I've beat him. Uh, trying to think of what comes after Father Gascoin. I guess that's as far as I made it, was beating Father Gascoin. And the other thing, the Cleric Beast. Okay, man. So, yeah. And then, of course, I'm looking forward to Elder Ring. Okay, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Okay. Now we can go. And slide. Still, okay. Okay, there is a guy down that way, but I want to get here. There's another buddy down there. Hey, buddy. Lots of buddies over there. A couple buddies up there. But the worst is yet to come. If the archers. The archers. If you know, you know. The Anorlando archers. Definitely the worst boss to have to fight. Period. No, not even a fight. Worst non-boss fight, I guess, period. Like, worst section ever. Don't you dare. Sir, I'm gonna need to stop. Yep, yep. Who's your daddy? Oh, yeah. Gargoyle Halberd, Gargoyle Shield, and the Gargoyle Helm. Okay, I want to look at... Gosh, there's a lot of weapons. Okay. Descaling. Okay. I was thinking maybe doing that one for a little while, but no. Nah. Okay, so here we are. Big castle. Creepy lizard bat things with spears. Alright, which one of you want to go first? You? Alright. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Can we fight right here? I love this ring with the front hand spring is what I'm going to call it. Ooh. You dead. That second attack always is staggering those guys. I love it. Okay, I'm kind of curious of what kind of fire damage these guys take. Because I don't like fighting these guys. They're a pain in the butt. Okay, I mean, it took a few. What's what about this great chaos fireball? I don't want to. I'll go ahead and fight you normal. I wonder I was gonna say I wonder if I can parry you, but I don't think you can. Maybe that move you can. That one for sure. You can get away from the edge, because I think it can knock you back. Oof. Okay. Not easy. Alright, here comes literally the worst part of Anorlando. 
quite literally the worst part of Ando. And Arlanda. Ooh, is it to be getting a spear? Yes, demon spear. Let's look at that. I don't think I've ever gotten this. 100 physical damage, 120 lightning damage, C scaling and both wet. Wow. Carved from the bones of fellow demons, wielded by slim, lesser batwing demons. The weapon of these chaos demons wandering in Alondo are different from those other chaos demons. They are imbued with lightning. Huh. Um, I might level that up a little bit and give that a shot. It looks pretty intriguing. Man, the Blight Town episode just uploaded. It took so long. It took pretty much like. I don't remember how many hours it took, but it was a lot. Um, it just uploaded, uh, that's the one that's processing now. Um, it was just a longer episode, I think it was closer to an hour than any of the other ones really are. Okay, so we cleared them out. I was mindful of these guys. So these guys are the ones that suck. Okay, we're gonna have actually have our shield out, because we might actually need to parry. So those arrows, are dragon arrows, I think is what they're called. Dragon Slayer arrows. They just, they will send you flying. And you can't block them. You have to just roll through them. See, there's one right there. Okay, fall. Okay, don't fall, but let me just go ahead and do that to you. Okay, that's one. See, I like fighting these guys because... Shit. I think they're called Silver Knights. Um, the reason I like fighting the Silver Knights is once you kill one, you, you know it's dead because it does that little... Oh, that weird sound effect at the end. Um, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Step back. That. So you know they're dead. Like, you don't have to wait for the souls to shame. Hey, did that first try. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I don't think it's been a while since I've done that first try. It's usually at least two. Okay. Now, just focusing on staying, hugging this wall, like not even, I'm pushing left on the joystick right now, left and up. I do not want to fall. We have made it. We have made it. Yes. That was nice. Okay, I like it. Smooth the whole way through. Okay, so that video is done. Uploading. We're gonna hug, go ahead and open up this door. Hey, Solaire. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? Mm -hmm. If I didn't know better. I think you had feelings for me. Oh, um, so there, don't me. kid yourself. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> you really are fond of chatting okay. with me, aren't you? If I did oh. okay. Got Okay, we have a soul over here. Let's get a 10,000 more. I think. Bump it up strength to 20. Alright, moving on up. Is this open? Yes, okay. Hello. Goodbye. And we get the Sunlight Metal. Another one. Alright, so that's the first area. We come back around over here. We're not going to go upstairs just yet. Damn it. No! Okay. So we open this door. It's just a bunch of empty stuff. Unless... So you're just gonna follow these stairs down. 
It's really dark down here, but don't worry. It's pretty safe. Pretty safe. Not completely safe, pretty safe. I think what I'm going to do this time... So... Got Havel's gauntlets and leggings. Havel's helmet and armor, which we are not going to be able to carry. Havel's great shield. And the dragon tooth, which is his weapon. And then we have... Huh, one of these chests don't look like the other. Oh god, it, oh, thank god that didn't connect. Did that not even damage him? <laughs> okay, so let's do some reading. Anything new here? No. Oh, did we read? Soul serving as the core of the Iron Golem, guardian of Sin's Fortress, and slayer of the countless heroes seeking Anorlando. Originally a bone of everlasting dragon used to acquire a huge amount of souls or used to create a unique weapon. Um, okay. And then I believe we got... Great club, great giant tree branch serves as a wooden club, smashes enemies from the upside the head. The leaping attack has a trademark of clubs, and its giant club is no exception. Created from everlasting dragon tooth, legendary great hammer of Havel the Rock. The dragon tooth will never break as it is harder than stone and grants its wielder resistance to magic and flame. Armor worn by Havel the Rock's warriors. Carved but from solid rock, its tremendous weight is matched only by the defense it provides. Havel's warriors never flinched or nor retreated from battle. These fortunate enough to face them were unfortunate enough to face them were inevitably beaten to a pulp. Yikes. Okay. So that's everything down here. So we're gonna head back up wherever the stairs are. I can't remember where they are. There they are. <clears throat> And this first floor is done, for the most part, for now. Um, can't open this door yet, so we're going to head up the stairs. Let's see, I need to... Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Did that, did that, did that. Did that. Oh, I didn't know that's something. I guess that's cheating a little bit, but. Maybe I was supposed to do it down there. I think you're supposed to do it on the one down there, but I didn't know that was a thing. Chopped them ankles up. So yeah, there's two mimics there. And then you're gonna come this way. Yeah, we'll go this way. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Chasing me, it sounded like it. <clears throat> Alright, I don't think there's anything out there on the balcony. No. There is one room I forgot we could hit real quick. This one. Oh, so uh, I'm. It's not really affecting me much as I thought it would. <coughs> uh, today I was making dinner and whatnot, and um, 
I was making my wife, my fiance, a drink. I already called her wife. Uh, making my fiance a drink, um, and she's only choosing to drink like a few days out of the um, drink alcohol, a few days a month. Um, but she wanted me to make her like a virgin version of the drink she makes, so uh, I did. Um, but I needed lime, and uh, we do imperfect produce or imperfect foods or whatever. Um, and so we got these a couple of limes, and they're kind of hard, but they're still good. Um, and I went to uh, cut the lime in half, you know, so I could squeeze it into her drink. And uh, yeah, it obviously round shape, it moved. <laughs> and a blade, really very sharp knife, I have pretty sharp knives, uh, came crashing down on my fingers. So I got two nice giant cuts on the sides of my fingers, these two fingers right here. Um, oh god, I thought he was dead. I think I'm trying to remember which way I want to go first, this way. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Uh, and, like, we realized that we were very low on band-aids. What, what a time to figure that out. Um, I mean, one of them could have used stitches. Hey, Sigmar. So, I ended up, I was a medic in the army, so I ended up just kind of doing, like, the, the little strips, like, for, like, you know, you see, like, boxers when they get cut on the eye, they put those strips on and stuff. That's what I ended up doing, just, it'll heal that way, it'll be fine. But I thought I was going to have a problem with my parrying skills, because I use that, these two fingers, but a lot, so. Mm -hmm. Whatever can be done. Ah, you again. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? Oh, Not really. Don't be ashamed. There's a fate of vanguards like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. This is quite a fix. We'll need another three. No, maybe five bodies. Hmm, quite a fix indeed. This is quite a... We'll need another three... No. Maybe five bodies. Hmm. Quite a fix indeed. Not if you have me, my friend. So he's talking about this room right here. You see a sword there. There's two there. And then I think there's one over on that side, too. So let's just... Oh. Lure him over here. No Estus left. Oh, okay. Who wants to play first? Jesus! Where's the door? Where's the door? Whoa! Thanks for your help, Sigmire. I'm gonna make a quick pause and uh, go check on my dog. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I had to take my dog out. So we did a quick pause there. It's quick for you guys, but it was long for me. Um, oh shoot, did I aggro? Well, might as well fight him. That was a weird. Sequence of events. Whew. You know what I need to do before heading out? If you said, Can a bonfire, you were correct. Yeah, like the video that I'm uploading now, which is episode, um, seven. So this is episode 10, I'm uploading episode seven. Uh, episode six really slowed down my, uh, upload to, to record ratio, but 
That's okay. I'm just really so like that episode now is like 20 minutes shorter because we did Dark Root or what was that? What is episode seven? Uh, Dark Root Garden. We did that super quick. I like we did the boss in one shot. Like it's not a very big space, so. Um, it's gonna upload like half the time, if if not like a quarter of the time. If anybody gets motion sickness, turn turn away now. Well, let's just make sure this guy doesn't decide to like somehow aggro and follow. Way too soon. But we were able to recover. Nope. Okay, get out, get out. Are you kidding me through the wall? There we go. I wonder if we can... No. Can't cheese him from up here. Bet you if I had sorceries I could. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay. I was just kinda hoping we'd cheese that guy from up there. I don't like fighting him in that tight, tight space. Um... Yeah, we're gonna fight you because you do get aggro. We could possibly chase. I hear footsteps and it's freaking me out. Draw your sword, man. I keep hearing footsteps. Is it me? I can't tell. Too late. Whew. Some of these timings I'm just starting to get a little, a little off on. Oh, I thought he was going for the stab attack. He switched up on me. Kill this guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. they give you so much HP. Or HP. The uh, souls. Okay, we have twenty eight thousand souls. Okay, this is going a lot better this time around. Got one more left to kill. Ah, oh, he switched it up, just like the other one. When you miss it, go for the backstab. Did my dog come in here or something? Oh my god! I thought he was dead, and I thought my dog came in here and pooped. And the door's open all of a sudden. Huh. That was dumb. That would have been so bad. Okay, so there's a chest here. Demon Titan. Oh, hey, look at a picture of those guys. What is this a picture of? Ooh. Ah. So come back and talk to him after you kill those guys. Mm -hmm. Oh ho! What's on your mind, friend? Wait. You defeated those monsters? Sure did. Fantastic. I'm saved. This knight of Katarina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. But be warned, gallantry entails great risk. Tiny being Next ring. Time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. Did you fit through that window? But be warned. Okay. Gallantry. So.
Ring made of ancient tiny red jewel grants small increased HP. Rings grant powers large and small. Their discovery and effective use can make one's journey easier. All right, so I think that's a, a starting item like you can use. Um, okay, so we made it out to here. There's one more place we have to go. Is it this way? Yeah, no. Oh, I know where we need to go. Okay, so you open up that shortcut for if you need that for whatever reason. I guess I could have went back that way, but oh well. Uh, anyways, you uh, we didn't go this way. Now we're almost done with this part. We're at 35 minutes. Next thing is the boss. Pretty much. Well, and then I gotta fight this tight knight demon. Titanite demons I might come back for though, in all honesty. I want to unlock the shortcut before I fight the, the, the before I fight him so that way I have quick access to the bonfire. I don't have to make a long run just to get back there again. Oh, why did I do And I know I gotta add another death. For the ones that killed me in that room. Dang it. Alright, well, we'll see you guys back there. Well, I should have showed it. I did the little... I did the jump where you jump over the railing. Um, if I die... Or, actually, I'll do it again here in a minute. Either if I die or if... Uh, God. The spear guys kind of get me. I don't... I want it to get down here. Thank you. Okay, first things first. Let's just go ahead and open that. So now we don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about it anyways. Both those are safe chests to open. So we get the Silver Knight Helm and the Silver Knight Armor. And the Silver Knight Gauntlets and the Silver Knight Leggings. Okay, so what I did... We'll do it here and then I'm going to try to fight that Titan Knight Demon. We'll give it a go. See how good or bad I do, depending if I'm going to try it again or if I'll... I might do just a Titanite Demon episode where I just jump around over the little the Titanite Demon locations and kill them all. Um, yeah, here it is. Okay, so it's right here when you can see that level. You run and jump. And voila, you're here. So that's what I did. That way I didn't have to waste time killing all these freaking Silver Knights. Oh god, there's not much damage. Oh, um, am I two handing it? No, that's high. Oh my god. Oh, how do I get out? How do I get out? <laughs> Let's see if I hit him. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. It's... I'll give it one more shot. But I think I might just go around and do all the Titanite demons. Like, there's one there. There's a bunch in Sen's Fortress. There's one on uh, in, uh, 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 Lost Isolith. Okay, so now that we... You know what? I might just do a fun little shortcut. No, we'll just do this. Get us some XP. Some souls. I keep saying XP, but <laughs> souls just plays the same way. Alright, three for three. Drop your spear, damn. Okay, we're gonna give this guy one more go. Hey, I wanna get my souls. Okay. 
Okay. That makes sense. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna cheese this go out here as much as I can. As soon as he does that, run. Okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Don't jinx it though. Stuck on something. Yes, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Those guys always just, uh, I get like sick to my stomach fighting them. Oh my god. Like, especially those like last like three little hits, and you're just like, please, please don't do something stupid. Hey, I will say I am able to take better, more hits this time. Like, I, it's clear that we're, we're not as squishy as I once was. Okay, here's a debate. Do I, let's go this way, because there's an item out here. And flip. Okay, so there's Dragon Slayer, Great Bow, and the Dragon Slayer. So those are those big-ass bow and arrow that were flying at us from the Silver Knight Archers. Yeah, so now we, are pro we, uh, we, we own that. Which is cool. Alright. I think there's one that follows up behind. Let's go down there and get that item. Let's just kill these guys. Take your dirty lightning and leave. Oh god, oh god. We don't want to reset all that progress. Okay. Those guys can be kind of tricky. Titanite chunk. Okay, so we're going to talk to this guy back here. You heard him made it banging on stuff. Um... Oh, let's do this really quick, too. Okay. So, uh, one thing you want to do when you get this guy, go back here. There's a little, there's a chest back here with a uh, hawk ring. Extend bow range. So one of the special rings granted to the four knights of Gwyn, the hawk ring belonged to Hawkeye Go, who led the great archers. Boost bow range so that arrows fly like they were shot by Go's great arrow, which took down high flying dragons. Alright. And then when this who guy. Are you for your weapons? Not much of a conversationalist. Tis no good, but forge very good. I have any time. Great. Uh, so you can, uh, just like Andre, he reinforce your weapon, but he can make uh, lightning weapons and he can make boss weapons, like, yeah, boss weapons, boss soul weapons. So the great sword of Atorius. I'm kind of thinking I want to do it. <laughs> It will drop us down to 178 damage, but it's C scaling, C scaling, C scaling. 
Oh, the parameter requirements go up, so we won't even be able to wield it. That's not quite a good idea yet. Um, there's the Abyss, Abyss Great Sword and the Great Lord Great Sword. Or you can revert these back. Okay, so we're not doing that yet. Um, can we reinforce anything? Yeah, we can. Oh, we can make a decision now. Hmm. Let's do... Oh. Oh. Hey. I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna do this one. Screw it. Okay, does he sell... Yes, he does. I think I need four. Oh, he sells the giant hat set, moonlight arrows, dragon slayer arrows, giant tower with giant shield, armor smith. Okay, and then reinforce weapon. We were doing the. Talk to Sorry. Uh, purchase item, titanite shard. Uh, I need like I think seven. And let's get this up to five. Modify. Oh, can he not? Oh, boo. Okay. Well, once we get to teleport, we'll go to Andre to. Uh, get that to a plus 10 and then we'll come back and either see if it'll turn into something cool or maybe it'll just be cool it's what does it look like already so we do 206 plus 97 so we're doing 303 damage right now but it's slow damage whereas this is doing 114 plus so 184 damage but let's see it's very small it's very quick Got a cool move set. Huh. They might have been a waste of souls and whatnot, but whatever. I don't care. Okay, so the next thing we have four Estus. Let's see if we can do all this with four Estus. There's this guy here and two of those guys. near death. Alright, so now do you feel the black wire or quivering quivering. Got him. Oh he got me though. It's like who's laughing now, isn't oh and he dropped down on me. God. Tip. Okay, we need to use the elevation to our advantage. I think that's actually where we're going to call it for the episode. I think the next episode we'll be doing 
Okay, so yeah, next episode, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna clear that out, do the, the we had that quivering black eye orb. We're gonna figure out what that's all about, face the boss, and then um, we'll see how much time that takes, because who knows how long that boss is gonna take me. Um, and then after that, it'll be, uh, we'll kind of like hop around and do some things. Uh, kind of some cleanup stuff, and then it'll be Painted World. Time for Painted World. It'll be like the venture getting there. So that should be enough to fill an episode. Alright, guys, till uh, next time. I'm Jay Marvel. Later. Bye.